Hey guys, Fad here. Sorry it took so long for the, la the other two videos to go up. I tried all last night to get those up. But it took forever to get the first one up. I just was able to... I just did upload my my reaction to the emergency ban list. And I also just uploaded, finished uploading as the time I'm recording this which is 6.46 p.m. on the 18th of February I uploaded the emergency ban list video I did along with my deck profile of my musicians post ban list as well as a DVD of free DVD reviews plus some TNA talk some WWE talk that I believe will be on my channel in a few minutes but in the meantime, while I'm killing time, since none of my other videos went up, I've been really busy with a few things. Before I get to the, what I want to show you guys, um, but since this video is going up and none of the others are, uh, you remember when High Speed Riders, how no one had a Trishula? Well, yeah, I got a Trishula. At a high speed rider somehow. I don't know how I did it, but I got one. And I've been using this thing like crazy on Death Pro lately. Ever since I got it. What else did I get? Well, uh, I got the free Yugi decks Exonia, Dark, the uh, Battle City, and the Joyce Kingdom Battle City and Yugi vs. Tim decks. I've been using those. Unfortunately, they didn't come with Regeki. That would have been nice, but I don't think he even used Regeki. So, who knows? Speculation? Um. If I was to do it next year, I'd either do Joey or Kaiba or Yu Gi Oh! GX. I want GX personally. Because some of those hero cards, that, um, like to reprint cards that are harder enough to get as they are, come out with game decks and reprint all the match heroes. Even print the new hero that just got announced recently. Mass hero, the level 6, I believe. Yeah, level 6 win mass hero. And give us Stratos if, if that happens. This year, actually, a side tangent marks the three-year anniversary of Stratos getting forbidden here in the TCG. <sighs> I doubt that he's ever coming back. That is so dumb. I mean, we can have Gold Curve at Joker at one, but we can't have Stratos. That is just screwed up in all sense of the word. But, that's not why I'm here. I wanted to show these guys off. Get all three of them into the shot. Tyrannosaurd. Triceratosaurd. Stegosaurd. Yep, I got the Dinosaurd Megazord. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any of the auxiliary max, any of the auxiliary swords. And I got this in a two pack, so I also got my hand on the Terrazord, so I can make. What is it? The, the terror formation. But let's start with the individual boards. This is going to be sort of a review. Tyranno, way better than the Japanese version, I'll say that much. Wow, Gabatira had a lot of mu uh, sounds. This one may not have sounds, but it does have a lot of cool features. Look at this tail, the way it's stored right here. This tail no longer holds no longer holds the helmets down here, which I like. He has a bit of hip movement. Oh. It locks in every position. The helm, the head comes up. And you can manually do this with the Dino Charger gimmick. But I, something I've noticed that if you give it, if you put the chargers in, they, most of the maps won't close, which I don't get. Love that one. That's my actual personal favorite. Uh, besides the Terrazord. Next, Triceratosaur. The sword. Good gimmick. Uh, if you want to activate the gimmick without the charger, there's this little tab. Let me see if I can show you that. Yeah. Press that. And there you go. You got the battle mode. 
And now, hold on, actually, we have the pink ranger sword. I don't have green or black, so I can't show those, but I will get those eventually. This guy, this one is adorable. And then for its gimmick, same as the other one. Yep. And now I'm going to combine these puppies. For, um, for the arms, it's... Oh, let me uh, try this again. For this, you just fold up. Fold up. Open the mouth, and if you want, you can pull this off. For this one, same thing. Open the mouth. This one is more involved. Ah, dang it. I got them my first try on the last attempt. Ugh. And then there's pegs down here that will lock in position, and then you retrieve the helmet. Pull this up. Around, fold the legs, fold up the face, attach this, and this, attach, take the tail, break it in half, take it and put it in half, and there goes the arm again. And then the helmet. And there you have the Dinosaur Megazord. Pretty cool, actually. <laughs> and if you want, you can pull off the, sword, the the tail and manually activate the sword feature. And it also has the drill feature, which, hey, they haven't done that since 2004. In Super Sentai, the, this was known as Koyujin, which is a pretty cool toy line. Look, I've always loved the Koyuja line, but now I have the Dinotron Megazord. It's not as poseable. Well, it is poseable. I mean, you can go back and forth with the legs. No toe articulation, no head articulation, unfortunately. But you can get it into some pretty cool things with it. it and though, I will warn you. Hold on. Okay. I will warn you, though. My The arm joint on mine is a little loose. Probably because I've been playing with this thing so much since I got it three, I think, two months ago. I did a vlog about this originally and it probably won't go up. I will be posting older videos. This will, and then next video will be episode 100. Oh god. <laughs> but, this is my, my personal Zord of choice, T-Rex. I own the T-Rex. There's also a black edition, and there's also the Spinner Zord, which if you have the Pocky Zord and the Ankle Zord, you can form the Spinner Charger, I believe it's called. And there is gonna be, and the person that owned Toka Spino from the movie is gonna be in the show. They did confirm that on the wiki page, so look out for that. And then for the Terror Zord, this guy is big. Holy crap! If you want to balance him, there's this peg down here. Peg up. That helps balance it. Now, there's no way of recreating the Japanese version with this. And there's no visor, so you can't do the evil version. But I don't care. And there was a sword builder gimmick. There's a gimmick right here that I don't have on me right now. Well, actually, it's over there. Up there in my uh, toy basket. Yeah, I actually have cleaned my room, so sue me. Plus, it doesn't look right. Where, if you took the charger in, it would shoot off two guns that could fit in the, in the Megazord's hands. It doesn't look right. I eventually took them off, and I've not put them on, and I'm not putting them on now. Anyway, I already folded away everything. Let's get this thing in the Megazord mode. Pull these off. Pull the black. Make sure this piece back here is sticking out. Oh, and the leg goes, oh, comes off, yeah. And then stick it on the bottom. Fold up the arm blades, which will become the weapons. Open that. Open the face. And there you have the Terra Charge Megazord. Pretty cool. Uh, this one's pretty cool. 
No, it's cool with the Dino Charge Megazord, but hey. And these arm blades are its weapon, but if you did get the gun, if you want to put the guns in his hand, you can. I just prefer the novelty of how it looks in the show, so. Yeah, and now I guess we should merge them, huh? Let me just put this guy back in terror mode right quick. And then we'll get this guy merged up. And this formation I'm about to show you has appeared in the show. It did appear in the show already. They used it a couple of times. I haven't seen episode 1 of the new season. But for this, first let's put the Dino Charge Megazord. Take off the shield from the back. Take off the helmet. Pull them off to the side. And this is what I love about this. This peg right here is where the helmet goes. And unlike the Japanese version, you can actually peg the shield on this part right here on there without any difficulty. The Japanese version of the tail has been a little bit of a pain for those who have seen both Matrix's review. Or, excuse me, Dawson Ryder. Oh, and oh yeah, I gotta pull off the head. Ugh. There is a piece I don't have on me right now that you can put there to fix that issue. Put it on the head, make sure it doesn't the head oh and there you have Dino Charge Megazord Stego for excuse me Terra Formation pretty cool you can obviously limb swap the arms but this is the way it appears in the show and until I get any of the accessory swords uh, I'm just gonna this is just this is just awesome I have it displayed on my shelf right now, like in this mode. Either I store them separately, or I store them in this mode because this form is, form is just awesome. So yeah, I've been playing with that a lot. Wow, twelve minutes, dang. Uh, I did a video on the religion, sin and subjects. Uh, that video will not go up. Basically, too much of a touchy subject, so I'm not gonna oh upload that one. There are going to be another video posted today. Tonight, depending on how long this video takes to upload. And I know that I didn't do much in this video, but next video I'll do something big. I promise. Peace out.